All right, Alpine, this is Tuesday the 21st. What do we got going on? We have a general warm-up of a, a general warm up of a 200 meter jog. All right, don't run it, jog it. Then two rounds of PT specific, 20 seconds each side star plank, if you know what that is. 15 glute bridges, um, no weight. Make sure you get that full hip extension while keeping the midline tight so we're not arching that lower back. Uh, five reps of one and a half Spanish squats. So we're gonna see that more. Zach and I both love these, love these. A lot of the time, um, if we have a little bit of um, tenderness, tightness, pain in our knees, um, especially those tendons, uh, what we need is some time under tension, um, focusing just on those tendons and getting blood flow there. And that's why I have these banded Spanish squats because it is focusing on getting blood to the knee area um, to help with that uh, soreness, pain, whatever you have. Then we have 10 uh, McGill crunches each side. So remember the McGill Big Three, where we have that crunch with the with your hand behind the small of your back, leg bent. You need 10 each side, give me a pause at the top of each one. Then we have the one and a half front squats. All right, people. It's a one and a half squat, not a squat with a bounce at the bottom. Uh, so what I'm trying to get through with this is that that half squat, you're going to push through that sticking point that you have. And generally it is around that right before that half squat range. That's why we're going to go, I want one and a half. We go through that. We don't stand up all the way. We go back down and stand up all the way to the top. So with this, um, coaches, I want you to be very, very cognizant and very much so sticklers on making sure they are one and a half squats. So this might mean there's actually a very good chance that this means a lot of people are not going to lift as much weight as they did last time, even though it's less reps. It's because we're going to have better mechanics and movement quality over that load. Okay. So rant done, just make an actual one and a half squat. Uh, then we have Peach. Think about the emoji, you know. Mm -hmm. We have four rounds for time. 30 second wall sit with ball between legs. 10 double kettlebell front squats. 10 single kettlebell goblet squats. And then a 60 second rest. So this is straight up leg work. Quads just, just destroying them. Um, so we have a 30 second wall sit with wall between legs. So it's only a 14 slash 10 pound ball. Honestly, that's the heaviest I want anyone to go. It's not so much about the weight of the ball that we have there, but the actual squeezing action of it. Um, get those adductors involved, all that jazz, um, hamstrings a little bit more. And then they're going into those double kettlebell front squats. So we're going from a uh, heavy loading for 10 reps into a lighter loading for 10 reps. Um, how this should feel is that those double kettlebell front squats um, eight, nine, and ten. It's starting to feel a little gnarly, and then you get to those those kettlebells, uh, those goblet squats, and one through six feel good, but then your body can't catch up, and seven, eight, nine, ten feel gnarly. So you're like, I need that sixty seconds rest. You're going fast here, but we do want everything to be unbroken on this with good technique. Um, it's just building leg capacity, building that density. Um, last week we were doing sets. Each, each round or set, whatever you want to call it, had um, 15 total squats. This week, we had 20 total squats in a row. So as you see, that density is increasing for the volume. The volume that sees increasing each week, making it so that we can just squat like none other. Um, that is today, the 21st. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.